So I've removed the fan here. Let's turn this back on, see what happens. Wow. That is super quiet. I could totally live with that. Hmm. Wonder how crucial that it is for that for there to even be a fan there. Anyways, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna search around my scrap pile here for a fan. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, looky here. I happen to have a whole couple old computer power supplies hanging around. Uh, what does this one say? Well, all I know is that this one says super quiet. Super quiet power. Whatever. I'm going to see if that one is super quiet. Let's get that out of there. Okay, so I've noticed something pretty interesting here. Okay, here's the the supposed new fan. It's supposed to be real quiet. That's what that sounds like. Okay. This one over here sounds very similar. This one here is even more noisy. But when I hook up the original this is a bit hard to do with the camera in my hand oh, Jesus Let's see the original fan. So the original fan is actually what I'm seeing is that this fan is actually really quiet. I think what the problem here is that this thing is like acoustically coupled into the chassis. It's acoustically coupled into the metal chassis of the of the recorder. Right? Because that sits on here and that's like bolted onto that. And then this is bolted on to here. You know the sound just travels through here and gets amplified by the whole housing here. It's a uh, basically it's a it's a resonator box is what it is. If you think about it, that hard drive box is it's like an instrument. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and use some uh, piano felt to dampen um, dampen that mechanical connection between these parts. See if that makes a difference. I'm also going to mount a switch on this wire. I'm going to have that coming out through the front just so I can turn the fan on and off. Now I realize that some of you may not have this just lying around at home, but here's the switch that I found in my parts bin that I'm going to use. And I'm also going to use these as dampers. Because I'm a piano technician, I've got this stuff lying around. But yeah, I realize that a lot of you probably don't happen to have these high quality felt little washers, but I mean, use your imagination. You can use something similar. Anything to get between here and the, you know to prevent this thing from resonating through this metal 
thing and through this <laughs> basically sound box here. I just can't believe that they, the, 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 oh, that was a massive oversight on, on, on uh, behalf of Fostex, but I, I don't know that this is a super high quality unit or, but I think they were pretty expensive in their day, but anyways, let's, let's uh, install this switch and these dampers, let's see how it works. Yeah, so I'm just finding this really interesting problem here. Interesting engineering problem here. I'll pick that fan up. It's really, really nicely quiet. As soon as I set that back down on that housing, this is the racket it makes. I think it's a lot better than it was. Because I've got the. <clears throat> Got these dampened in behind here now, but at the same time, like yeah, even even with it sitting on some felt here, still it's less noise. But as soon as it touches the housing, it's it's really interesting. I'll see what we can do here, but uh, this is almost like it's almost like an acoustic guitar the way this is. It's really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do to dampen this out. I'll be back in a sec. So yeah, here's where we are now. Uh, now I'm just gonna take these four little felt pads and I've got my hot glue gun here actually going to glue the pads to the housing and then glue the fan to just ever so slightly to the felt just trying to do whatever possible to have the least mechanical connection between the fan and this hard drive box or resonator box I guess and uh, yeah I th hopefully that'll s solve the problem we'll get it all back together and we'll check it out so I've reduced I'm pretty happy with this so far I'm probably not even going to put the switch right in right now I mean if it can sound like that I'm I'm perfectly perfectly willing to Settle with that. I do have some thicker felt, but what I'm realizing is that I can't go too much further up because then I run the risk of um, like that fan is actually pretty close to the top here, and I'm worried that if it gets too close to the top, this can actually start making more sort of like air blowing noises, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm, and I'm just going to glue things together. See, see, th see if I can keep the noise down. So yeah, I think this is improved. I mean, it's still pretty noisy, but I think it's a lot better than a way. Than the than the way it was, I can, I can tolerate that. I think. Well, we'll see. Um, still kind of noisy for me, but it's okay. It's, it's a lot better than than it was. Anyways, at least if you have this the same unit, you can uh, troubleshoot this, and, and um, maybe if you've got some of your own suggestions, you can make this situation is a little better. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, happy recording.